always loved strength. You know, I started training when I was 12, just, and I'm 38 now. <laughs> just something I've, I've always loved. Uh, you know, Dave talks about the void, or, you know, there's kind of that thing, you know, playing high school and uh, collegiate football, that, that, that feeling, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. It's just, just going and getting after it, nothing else matters. Nate Harvey, head strength coach at the University at Buffalo. I started my graduate degree at the University of Buffalo um, in 2007 and started volunteering uh, in my last year there with Julia Laduski actually. Um, and then from there I landed a part-time job a year later. Three years ago I took over as the head strength coach of Olympic sports. I think I can bring a different perspective as a collegiate coach and also kind of middle of the road, kind of bridge the gap between the very elite and kind of intermediate trainees, you know, as student athletes, they're there to play their sport. So they're not actually elite lifters, right? They're elite at their sport. So I think I can give a cool perspective of that. I kind of stumbled on that actually when I was done with my undergraduate work uh, around 2000, read one of Dave's articles, Periodization Bible Part Two, and really changed the way I kind of think about training. I and mean, it worked personally for me very well. And we've been using that ever since I started at UB. I think it's a very, it's a lot simpler than people think. People think it has to be very complicated, but it actually works very well, because like I said before, the intermediate level that the athletes are at, it really helps them excel in their sport without beating them up too much or overtraining them, and it's, it's very adaptable and has worked very well for us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, this is, this is what I live, the training and stuff. Uh, so I, like you said, I take, take what I do and we apply it to the athletes. Um, so it's, it's good, I know what not to do, because I've done things myself that I shouldn't have done. So hopefully that benefits them in the end too. I mean, you could say the rack, right? Because that's where you do all your stuff. But the problem with that is if you're on, like in, in my mind, if you're on the rack all the time, squatting, lunging, RDLing, you're gonna beat yourself up. You know, the way we run the conjugate system is we have two main lifts and then the rest of the work is smaller accessory work. So we can bring up the weak areas on the athlete, right, without kicking the crap out of them. Like a lot of our movements are traction based. You know, so after our two main lifts, yes, it, the other things are getting you stronger, but they're also helping you recover. So it's, it's really hard to say there's one that's the most important. You know what I mean? The bar, if we had to say the most important, maybe the bar. Personally, I have a meet coming up at the end of April. It'd be my first meet back after shoulder surgery a year ago. So it'll be nice to get back on the platform again and uh, get after it.